Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Let's go. God bless you all. <laughs> My name is I'm Unique. I don't know. It just came out. Sorry. Whatever. Um, and I have a quick word to share with you all about staying committed to instruction. Um, staying committed to instruction. The Bible says for us to commit ourselves to instruction. Like commit to whatever it is we're doing. We must continue to learn how to do it. To be devoted to the disciplines. Whether it's learning or practicing. Whatever uh, helps us to learn to do our crafts better. And he says commit to instruction. To commit to something means to make a almost like a covenant with it it's like you're not going to stop uh pursuing this thing or you're not going to disconnect from this thing right so being committed to instructions means that we're going to be committed we're going to continue to be instructed continue to learn continue to be disciplined continue to practice our craft or whatever it is that god is calling us to do we have to continue at it commit to instruction right and i think about like the people who are in the best in their field like i see dr eric thomas a motivational speaker i see some of the best writers some of the best doctors and pastors these people are in those positions one because they learn they had to get educated they had to get training some people are just extremely gifted but even them they had to learn something they had to learn the business side of it they had to learn how to navigate through certain challenges right so even the best people to my point even the best people they have to learn they have to continue to learn even when they're at their quote unquote what seems to be their peak or their best when they're being their best self when they're when they are the best in their craft like i think about doctors and social workers and people in different medical professions or business professions or law and all these different professions they still have to learn while they're operating in their like while they're in their profession after they after they've graduated after they've gotten their doctor degree after they've gotten their master's they still have to study to learn about their craft to learn about their field it's not we don't get to a point to where we're just so good and we're so amazing and we're just so gifted that we don't have to learn anymore learning takes us on a journey instruction takes us takes us to where we to where we need to be instruction is like a vehicle that gets you from where you are to where to 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 another level or to another place or further along on your journey construction is like giving feet to to your goals glory to god it's like <laughs> for instance um i think about i'm i'm a musician i i sing and i and i write as well and i'm an author uh so my instruction is going to be centered around music learning vocal things vocally uh learning things business wise as a writer learning writing techniques learning different learning about my craft even though i know that god has given me the gift i still have to learn to kind of insulate that gift character is more important than having a gift it's like a cup it's like a container that carries our gift and instruction and learning and all those they they help to contain and protect insulate to keep our gifts like growing and flourishing right we have to cultivate it to cultivate the land god told adam and even a adam really that's okay he told adam like cultivate the land and there's another proverb that says, he that tills the land shall be satisfied with the bread. We have to till the land. Tilling isn't just, you know, boom, I'm finna plant a tree here. Now I got trees, I got tree, boom, boom, boom. I'm finna go buy a tree from Home Depot, put it here, boom, 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 boom. Now I got my land looking good. I got my, I'm, I'm, I'm good. No, tilling is is labor. Tilling is, is working it. Tilling is making sure the soil is right you know it's it's a process it's like constantly um glory to god I, I have a i'm a visual person so i'm trying to put it into a picture uh, words rather um but it's getting our soil right it's plowing every day you know um <laughs> and, and so we're we're stewards over our life over the gifts over the things that god has given us we're not the owner god is the giver god is the owner god is the, jesus christ is lord over everything we're just here to manage things we're just here to develop things 
So I just encourage us all, excuse me, ew, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just encourage us all to develop ourselves, to develop our gifts, to develop our talents, to develop ourselves, to develop, to continue to grow, to commit ourselves to instruction. Meaning to never get to, never get complacent, never feel like you've made it. Even at, I'm not, I mean, celebrate milestones, celebrate, you know, victories as you go, but don't get complacent and be like, I got my degree. That's it. That's all I have to do. I'm going to have to just go to work now. And that's it. No, even after you get your degree, you're still going to have to, instruction isn't just about getting a degree or having knowledge about something. Instruction is action too. It's discipline. It's training, physical training right that's all um instruction 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 commit yourself to instruction and that is a that will take you further in life than any talent or gift will because when you're instructed you begin to gain momentum and confidence like when you move you're not just moving based off of you're not just depending and putting a lot of pressure on your gift you're moving with it's like a Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a model walk. It put a model walk to your gift. Like, you know, you see certain people, they just walk, you know, in a straight line and, you know, you walk like a robot, like boom, 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 boom. I'm getting to where I'm going. Boom, I'm getting to where I'm going. Like, it's like so linear and, and boxy. But when you have character, when you've committed to instruction, when you have wisdom, when you've cultivated, when you practice, and when you, it gives you a well-roundedness and it puts a little little stride in your walk not saying you know not, not saying be walking ratchet or you know like you own the world but it gives you a different countenance it gives you the right attitude it gives you a more whole and full life like nobody want to deal unless they just there for the money and you don't want to be around those type of people anyway but unless they're there for the money uh care learning coming to instruction developing character developing integrity developing uh your mindset your attitude it sets you up to have relationships with people along your journey too nobody wants to be around somebody who is just the most gifted talented funniest whatever but they 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 treat people mean or they unless it's like i said unless it's solely transactional like i'm doing this for you and you giving me money and vice or vice versa or I'm doing this show, I'm just, just business, and that's it. I don't care about your personal life, etc. That's cool, and, and if that's what you want to do, you can have that kind of life. But God wants us to have a whole life. I know I'm kind of veering off from instruction, but it, it ties in. It all kind of ties in. When we have that integrity and that character as opposed to just gifts and just abilities, it gives us a more fulfilled and whole life. You know, I, it's not good that our soul, the Bible says, it's not good that the soul be without knowledge. And the Bible says it's not good that man should be alone. So even if you have found your work, I feel this, even if you have found your life's work, you tilling the land, you're doing what you're supposed to do. God said, it's not good that man be alone. So Adam had found his purpose. He found what he was supposed to do. But then God introduced him to like, he, he brought Eve into his life because he didn't need to be alone. He needed a helper. We all need people. We need community. We need relationship. We need partnership. It's not just about being able to do what you do and not have any friends. You don't get to you do what you do, be gifted, be talented, be successful and get to the peak of the mountain and you looking around and it's just you being uh, you know by yourself like that's i mean i guess it's okay but <laughs> not not it's not wholeness i ain't saying have everybody you need to, you need to have everybody around you you need to have friends you need to but you need to at least be in a position to where you're humble enough to be able to have a conversation with somebody and even with that, even if you don't know how to, if you like, I ain't grew up in the household where we communicated. We just was out here, whatever, living, trying to uh, survive. And, uh, you know, even if that was the case, you can learn, commit yourself to instruction on communication. Learn how to communicate. Read a book. Take a course. 
go to counseling you know commit to instruction it doesn't have to just be with your craft it can be with cooking with learning how to keep your household with learning how to uh exercise take care of your body health you know wellness money financial literacy business commit yourself to instruction in whatever area it is oh my god that you are experiencing drought and lack and challenges if you commit yourself to instruction i um, I, I can guarantee you that you'll see a turnaround in your life but you have to commit to it not jump in and out now when i say commit that don't mean you spend all your your whole day learning in class and reading and and training but you don't divorce yourself from that you don't get to a point where you're like oh god i see the light i'm i'm good i don't need to keep walking no you keep stay committed to instruction glory to god that's all um <laughs> once again my name is i mean y'all i really hope it's helped you all whoever it was for um and that it's, it reminded us to stay committed to instruction nobody knows everything nobody is an expert except for god you know you have the lord jesus and you need the holy spirit because he'll instruct you in a way that a book can't instruct you but that's another subject okay um i'm listen it's been that kind of, okay i'm not gonna explain myself I, my name is i'm unique and <laughs> if you're watching this channel that's what you're gonna get like i i'm not I'm not normal by any means. Um, so God bless you. Um, yeah, y'all take care. I'll put a, a scripture or two for reference in the description. I also have a link to all of my art. Uh, glory to God. God has been so gracious to allow me to write a book, to allow me to release a song, a single. And I'm so thankful. And if you feel led to be generous to sow into this ministry to sow into what god is doing um just that's it you'll you'll find everything you need in the link in the link below um but anywho god bless you all take care until next time